What is going on guys? Alex, you make here coming back at you with another YouTube video again uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Subscribe to the bell notification on. Like the video right now while you can. Alright, so I'm about to go get something to eat. I gotta go drink. I woke up, I don't know, half an hour ago. I woke up really late today. I've been sleeping in a bunch because I've been streaming super late. I started so I started streaming on like Twitch every once in a while, and then recently I've been doing it like every single night. Um, we're building a dope little community over there, so if you want to be a part of it, definitely come join up. As well as a Discord, we do Bible studies like every single night at 7.30 p.m. EST. I'll have the links for that below if you want to come be a part of that. Um, but yeah, the Discord has been fun. So I've been up like late streaming, Robin streaming like every single night. I already play video games, so I was like, why not why not stream it to you guys, you know, so I can like build a community there. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that. So I've been waking up. My sleep schedule is kind of messed up. Um, Cause no matter what time I go to sleep at, I try to make sure make sure I still get at least eight hours. So um, that's why I've been waking up late. But anyways, look at all these packages. Isn't that crazy? There's I already dropped off three big ones of these yesterday. This is from the uh, the hoodie drop, the Chasing Aesthetics hoodie drop, and the Elysium hoodie drop that I did on my uh, my website. Sold out literally probably within I don't know 45 minutes within my workout when I was lifting when it dropped. Um, and I'm doing a little bit, a little bit of a restock here in a few days. Right, thank you to everybody who supported on that. Thank you so much. I hope you love the hoodies and all that. Um, hopefully, we'll be doing big restocks again here soon. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go get some Starbucks, go get something to eat, and I'll take you guys with me. Much content this weekend. Going up to Power Build in Pennsylvania. Ryan Dangler's gonna be there. Nathan, all my boys are gonna be there. Um, and there's gonna be like an event. I don't know what the, exactly the event is, but um, what's, cr what's crazy is the same time I'm supposed to get my car modded. So I'm getting this, this, we're not staying stock. We're getting, we're getting this thing like dummy fast. Cause after driving my buddies in LA, bro, I'm like, yo, I need to do something to this. So, and a lot louder. So those, uh, I drive up Friday to get that done. It won't be done probably till Sunday. I've been absolutely loving this car. Um, a lot of people kind of ask how uh, I was able to afford such a car at a, at a young age. You know, I'm only 21 years old and um, I was able to afford a Shelby GT500, which is a pretty, pretty uh, like upper, I'd say it's like a lower high level car. You know what I mean? If we're speaking like in terms of like a mid higher level would be maybe like an R8 or like an AMG GT. Um, and then like high high being like getting into like the Lamborghinis and the uh, all those cars like the McLarens and stuff So this is like for me loving American Muscle. This is really up there um, Probably the, the pinnacle of American Muscle right here. So how I forged it um, A lot of people ask me how do I make money doing social media and again? I want to be like pretty see-through with you guys again. I can't I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly like how what I make um but anyways, if people ask like how was I able to drop out of college and like what do I do and just like a broad view of it So I'm not like being super closed off to you guys about it I mean, I have my sponsors obviously raw gear and huge supplements So when you guys use the codes that helps me make money um, I sell like programs and merch on my website like we just said the hoodie drop obviously I make some money off of that um, YouTube pays me a little bit um, Sorry for the ums again. I'm trying to get better with it, bro. It's so annoying. I'm sorry and I think that's like the main that's like the main stuff right there So it's like the more you grow on your social media the more followers you get the more you're able to kind of market yourself or monetize yourself to brands and Then those brands usually are in turn willing to like pay you or whatever um, When you promote them, it's like a, it's like a way of marketing or advertising so you kind of can like monetize yourself um, the more followers that you have and the more that you grow um, and obviously like when I had when I had 50,000 followers on Instagram or whatever and I was you plugging my raw gear codes uh, versus when I had 300,000 follower, uh, th followers plugging it obviously you're gonna make more money when you're at that higher follower um, account and a lot of you guys just support me so much even the twitch stuff I'm making some off of like I, and I'm so blessed uh, from it obviously you know when you guys are able to put your hard your hard-earned money to to buy you know something from raw gear huge or my website any of that stuff um, you're supporting me you really are supporting me um, a lot of people try to stay away from talking the specifics of of that stuff just because it, it definitely isn't something that you want to talk about a lot I, I don't even I don't even like bringing it up right now my dad always just says kind of like to be humble in everything that you do um, so that's what I, I, I try to really make sure I show in my in my content in my videos I love cars man I always have I grew up around cars my dad's a car dealer we had like a muscle car shop all that's why I clean cars bro so for me this stuff is like and also too you got to think about it like my only expense right now is my car payment for this car like I still live with my parent my, my dad I, I literally like have no expenses other than this car I know a lot of people have to you know pay for a mortgage they have to pay for like I don't know they, there's a lot more expenses people have um, like rent and stuff like that I don't have any of those right now all I have to do is pay for my car so at the end of the day 
it, it's not too difficult to uh, afford this. So just the only harder part was kind of getting someone to take my loan. And, you know, that was kind of hard to find someone to give me a loan for it. We're back home. Is this zoomed? <clears throat> Keita's sleeping right here. So I got kava and Starbucks like I always do. I don't know what it is, but like my favorite time of the day is when I go out, get my food or my coffee, and I come back home and I can just like watch like calming YouTube videos. I don't know what it is, but like I'm not a morning person. Uh, even though it's midday, technically it's like 12, 1230 for my first meal. Um, but like this is like my morning and for me, I'm not a morning person. And I need to like relax in the morning. So for me, going to get the food and then coming home and just sitting down watching youtube videos is like my my like coping um, but yes yeah, so i'm gonna go eat so i got basically super greens mix double chicken uh pickled onions a little bit of cabbage tomatoes cucumbers feta um and then yogurt dill uh, dressing uh super greens mix white rice so that's what i got in there kava is amazing if you have not gotten kava yet you are missing out on so many different flavors of it it's just like a more healthy and more bougie um like Quidoba or Chipotle. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat that. Um, then I got the Grande Salted Caramel Cold from Cold Brew. So I'm gonna go eat this, enjoy it, relax a little bit, and I'll see you guys after. All right, so I, ha I, have, to, I have to point this out. So I'm, I'm eating my food, like I just said, and this, this, this video came up on my YouTube recommended called Genesis Impact Full Movie by Genesis Apologetics. Um, if you guys don't know what Apologetics is like, it's like, like the defense almost of the Christian faith. Um, since I've been doing these Bible studies, there's some people who struggle with the whole idea of like the evidence for the faith and they struggle with believing because they need because they need evidence so watch this all right genesis impact full movie and and it makes me think um in society i'm, I'm very big on individual thinking and learning to think for myself and not just take what somebody tells me as fact you know just because they tell me or they have a status and they tell me that that's what something is true i'm just gonna regularly believe it just because so they may might know more than me so i'm just gonna take it as i believe it um, so this 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 episode movie I'm only only 18 minutes into it, it's an hour long video is doing an amazing job at explaining case for creation basically for proof of God creating a universe and and not evolution right so obviously it's a topic that's uh, heavily debated like like evolution's teached in schools like it's fact right and man this stuff like because I it's crazy because the things that they're they're choosing in this in this uh this ep this whatever this episode to go over are the exact things that my science teachers was teaching me in school and they're going into detail on it and how a lot of the things are over constructed or over hyped to what they really try to teach you is fact and they go off they off, go off of pure speculation rather than actual pure fact um so it's crazy to me so if you're like a non-believer if you're if you're like a little sus of the belief and uh you need you're like a logical person like i am i'm very very logical and you can you can learn to think for yourself, not just what somebody tells you. Jeff, definitely check this out. Everybody everybody owes it to yourself to do your own research and to look into this stuff. But um, we were talking in the Bible study, like we had a Muslim and a Christian debating in, in it one night. It was like a good debate. It wasn't like like hard feelings or anything. You're talking on terms of eternal life. So obviously, life and death in terms of mortal life is a big is a pretty big topic. But when it comes to eternal life, if that is real, that is like literally the biggest and most important thing in the entire universe, like ten times over. So simple things like this, I don't know, really are interesting to me. So I just wanted to point that out because I feel like it could help somebody. So again, um, check it out for sure. I know there's gonna be some people who's, who say like, oh, Alex, you don't believe in evolution. Like, what are you, stupid? Bro, like all you guys, who, I mean, I guarantee you the guys who say that, you guys learned it in a school textbook and you literally did none of the research on your own. You just listened to what some teacher was trying to tell you. Um, not, not like I'm throwing shots or anything. I'm just saying like, I still kind of try to learn about it because I'm still interested if God used forms of evolution to cause creation um but watching this i'm seeing you know, it's it's very interesting in how scientists in, in modern day textbooks that they teach in school as facts are very over constructed and go off of pure speculation it's crazy bro i definitely recommend watching this what's going on guys so it is the next morning i just woke up um and i went to weigh myself and i weighed like 177 pounds or something what's whack is yesterday i weighed myself and i was like 174 where did the three pounds just come from like i didn't i didn't have like a cheat meal yesterday or anything so i'm confused like i mean i added like cinnamon toast crunch to my diet if that, i don't know how three out of nowhere i don't know i'm so confused by that uh because i didn't i didn't like eat out yesterday other than what i typically would with like going to Cobb or whatever so that's odd so that is definitely the heaviest i've been in a long time um, and I'm feeling a little maybe watery, so I'm gonna drink a lot of water today. Yeah, so I just woke up, 
I think I, I think I want an early workout today, so I'm not gonna shower yet. I kind of just want to go eat and go to the gym, um, because I had a rest day yesterday, so I kind of just want to get it over with. So I'll see you guys at the gym. All right, so uh, we're at the gym. Um, I think I'm gonna be training back today. I got a new program from my coach because of my torn labrum or dislocated redislocation of my shoulder. I took a rest day yesterday. I do have a headache right now and I'm super tired. I need some caffeine to hit. I've um, been lethargic today, I haven't eaten much, but I wanted to come to the gym early. Usually I come later, but it's like midday right now. I just don't want it to get packed. Um, I'm just gonna go and show, show you guys what I'm doing on the new program.
up at the gym, uh, hit a little bit of back. I don't know why, and the program is just like there's one back exercise. And doing it after like the arms was crazy. I don't know why, but like I've never trained back or back after training biceps because I used to do it the other way around. But my back had like a better contraction low key after I did biceps, which makes no sense to me. I don't know, it was weird. And it felt, I guess it's just because I was more warmed up. I don't know. But uh, it was a pretty good workout, a good pump. And I barely even ate today. It's 320. I've only had maybe maybe 400 calories if I'm lucky. So I'm going to go get some Starbucks because I don't really have much caffeine today. I only took a little bit of the pre. Um, and yeah, and then we're going to have some fun in the car. It's in the traction control off. So maybe we can, hopefully we don't end up in the woods again. Or uh, not again, but almost. Yeah, I straight was about to pull it. Joey was like, it was just a cop. There was a cop straight behind us when I was pulling out of the gym. And he's, he's following us right now. I was literally about to rip it. I turned traction control and everything off for you guys. We would have been screwed. Oh, I'm going under the speed limit right now. Because uh, I got a legal tent and everything. So if you get, pulled us over. Get in the left lane. Sir. Look. That's a straight up. Uh, Keep going. Keep going. We gotta clean this. I gotta clean the sides. We'll, we'll do that after. Um, so we're gonna go take it tomorrow. It's gonna go to the shop. We're getting uh, catless headers, uh, boiler attack exhaust, fuel injectors, I think 1050 um, fuel injectors, quarter, uh, JLT cold air intake, uh, tune, smaller pulley, and then uh, flex fuel. Like we got, So I can run E85 or just regular pump. Um, yeah, so tune will be able to rev up to 8,000 RPMs. Um, instead of the rev limiter, I think it's like 7,100. I don't know what it does on these. Um, but yeah, I'll be able to rev up to eight. And yeah, so this thing's gonna be quick. It's gonna be even faster. So we're gonna go do a few pulls in it right now. Yeah, long. drag strip mode we're gonna put it in regular sport and I'm just going to uh, this guy, this guy, I'm just gonna let it uh, burn up we'll see what happens Do it real quick right here just to get a warm just to get a warm right here I guess we're making part of this a car video. I need to get a daily. My dad's a car dealer, so we're just used car dealership. Um, just just kind of looking around at the moment. Um, they have these uh, Camrys. One's the, the hybrid. The other's the TRD. So basically the hybrid, you get like 50 miles to the gallon versus this, you probably get like, I don't know, 20. Um, it's what, 3.5 V6. That's like a 2.5. It's a uh, hybrid engine. So I'm going to go test drive, see what, I don't know. The interior's cleaner. The nuts. Do what? Oh yeah, the Beamer. The so this is the hybrid. Um, so this is obviously like, oh, it's only 200 horsepower. Obviously the benefit of this is the gas. Plus I think the interior is a whole lot better than this. Like this red interior is clean. Um, so yeah, we're gonna test drive this. And then right after we're gonna go into the TRD model, which is like the Camry's like sport type model, which is 300 horsepower. Um, and see how we like that one. But the interior, I didn't like as much. A lot more suspension wise, it feels a lot more stable. Um, like comfortable. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going right into the TRD model, which is like their sport. All right, so. They don't feel that quick to me though. It's not yeah, obviously it's a Mustang, but I don't know. I thought this would be quicker for 300 horsepower. Didn't you? Yeah. I'm not satisfied with this at all. I'm kind of disappointed to be honest. Didn't you think it would be a lot quicker? Doesn't it feel like I don't feel a big difference to the other one for 100 horsepower. Yeah, well, that was better. Does it have launch control? My first time driving a BMW. Ooh. 
See, I like this is more of a sporty feel already. Oh my god, it's, I feel like it's more comfortable. So far, this is my favorite one. <laughs> I want an M4 low key. Like, I, I couldn't imagine how, driving like the actual M model car after this. Ready? This is cool. Ready? Ready? Yo, that bitch is dope. <laughs> What's the difference between the 2016 and the newer one? Uh, so we're at CarMax right now. We're kind of just looking at cars. They have everything here. They have RS3s. They have uh, M4s. What is this? We're I don't, we're not gonna get anything today. We're just kind of looking. I, I want to see what my my daily could be. Um. Monte Cristo. We're at the diner again. You you guys already know. Last time with we, we Hattie we came here. Mmm. Boston. All right, guys, back home. Uh, ate a little bit of that sandwich. Went to my favorite diner. But that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell notification on so you guys are always up to date when I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Again, if you want to support, code Alex and Raw Gear, huge supplements. Check out my programs, merch, all that stuff. Good stuff on my website. Yeah, so see you guys Monday. Having a big stuff, uh, big event this weekend. Going up to Pennsylvania tomorrow, and then I'll have my car back next week, hopefully by Monday, and I'll be able to show you guys whole video on that so that's gonna be fun i can't wait for that hopefully it's warm so i can really drive and then uh i'm gonna go to the power bill gym pa on saturday i think it is so yeah much content this weekend so i'll see you guys with that stuff next week. God bless.